Let's start. Today we will see how to merge the rows and columns of a table in the TradingView Pine script. Our table will look like this. Here you can see that we have three columns and three rows. But, in the first row, these two columns have been merged into one. And in the first column, these two rows have been merged into one. Let's see how to do that. This is an indicator function with the name Merge Table Rows and Columns. Here we create a table with three rows and three columns. Then we set up the background color, text color, frame color, frame width, etc. Here we set the first cell of the table, which is an empty cell. The index number starts from zero, that is why we have written the row and column index as zero. If the row number is zero, that means it is the first row. If the row number is 1, that means it is the second row. And so on. So we have set up this cell as of now. Then we set some text in the second column of the first row. Since we have to merge the second and third columns, we call the table merge cells function. Here we specify the start and end column numbers and start and end row numbers which we are going to merge. So we have merged these cells now. Then we set some text in the second and third rows of the first column. Since we have to merge the second and third rows, we call the table merge cells function. Here we specify the start and end column numbers and start and end row numbers which we are going to merge. So we have merged these cells now. Then we put some data in the second and third columns of the second row. So we have set up these texts now. And finally, we put some data in the second and third columns of the third row. So we have set up these texts now. So that's it. That's how you can merge the table rows and columns in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.